all right so in this next video what we're going to be creating is the materials for the rim and the wheel nuts and the logo in the middle so let's begin with the rim i'm going to select the rim and go over to local view just like that and under the materials tab we're going to add in a new one all right so these aren't materials that are specifically going to be assigned to only the rim so we're not going to call it the rim material we're going to call this a uh, metallic metallic uh, black all right so this is going to be a metallic black material because we're going to be applying it to uh, certain parts of the uh, the car all right not just the rim so that is the first material we're going to be applying to this because if you take a look at the image if you take a look at the image for the rims if you still have the uh, g-wagon i would want to open this for you guys but i'm not going to do that so if you take a look at the image let's say you're looking at it right now you'll notice that the inner area of these parts here all around the rim is black including the the area to the inside all the way to this side is black and only the surface here it's actually chrome so that's what we're going to try to achieve all right so this metallic black is going to be for that area and the next material which is going to be the chrome is going to be for the uh the other area all right so let me take this and move this all the way here so we're going to go into material preview and now let's get started so we're going to add in a uh, noise texture shift in a texture noise texture I want to set this to 200, all right? And before we do anything else, let's take this again. Press Ctrl and A and apply the rotation and scale. All right, so I'm going to click on this. Press Ctrl and T. I'm going to set this from object, not generated. So from object, no, come on. From object into this side, like that. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add in a color ramp. I'm just press Shift and A, converter, color ramp down here. I'm going to set the factor into the factor over here. All right. So with that color ramp, what we're going to do is we're going to set this to B spline like this. And I think we're going to leave it at the default pretty much. I didn't do anything to it. Nope. I didn't do anything to it. So what I'm going to do now is let me take all of this, press G and move this all the way here. Just like that. All right. So we're going to add in a bump map. So vector bump right here I'm gonna set this into the normal no the height over here and I'm gonna set this to 0 0.005 now you know I'm, I'm setting this value really low very soon you know I'm setting very low very soon so let's just get over to the principal shader now this is a metallic material like like the name says metallic black so I'm gonna set this to a full metallic first like that and then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to decrease the color down to something much darker all right like this and now we want this to be more glossy so i'm going to go with the roughness of uh zero let's go with zero all right so zero roughness just like that and now what this uh notes we have down here is going to do is going to add some imperfections on top of the surface okay just like you see when just like you see on a maybe on a surface that has been painted black maybe you use the black paint and sprayed it on the surface you definitely see some kind of imperfections that look like this so let's set this into the normal and then you know what i mean come on so you can see that actually adds some imperfections to the surface if you're taking a good look and you're noticing this let me set this to zero and you can see what I mean. So if I set it back to the uh, value, you can see that adds some imperfections to the surface. So you can add that in. If it's too much for you, you can just drop the value down to something that suits you. So I'm just going to keep it at that. And that will pretty much do it for that side. So that's pretty much it for that material. The next one we're going to be creating is the silver or the chrome material. So I'm just going to click on the plus to add in a new uh, slot. And we'll click on the new to add in a new material. We're going to call this metallic chrome. All right so this metallic chrome but i don't think it's fully or 100 percent rough how i created it i think it's fully rough let me take a look i mean i don't think it's fully smooth all right so i'm gonna call it metallic metallic chrome slightly slightly rough well, let me just say let me say r let me just type in r and then put a hyphen in there i'm going to type in point one because the uh the roughness that I went with was 0.1, all right? So I want to type in 0.1 in here, straightforward. I want to set this to a full metallic, all right? I think I didn't add anything to it. It was just that. That was it. That was pretty much it, I'm sure. 
Yeah, that was all I did to it for the chrome. Now we have to apply this to the surface where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here into edit mode. Let's go into solid view. And uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to apply the, uh, let me get in here. Let me apply the bevel modifier, all right? So I'm going to apply the bevel modifier like that. And now we have to get rid of the creases over here. So I'm going to select everything, press N, and let me get rid of it over here. I think it was on the item. Yeah. The mean bevel weight, we're going to drop that to zero like that. And we're good. So now let's get over here. We're going to take each of these. That is all of these first. Let me zoom in here. Is that the one I want to take? Yeah. Or maybe not. Let me see. Maybe this one instead. Yeah, so that one instead. We're going to take all of these. Okay, all around. We're going to take it all around. Let me see. Is that the right one? Yeah. So you can see the one that is next to the uh, the one next to the uh, next one. How should I say it? You know, just the one you can see. Just pick it. So like that. All right. Just select it all around. I might actually time lapse this out. So I think that's all of them. Yeah. So we're gonna hide those. All right. Just hide them like that. And now we're gonna go down here as well. So we are, we're gonna have to do the same thing over here. Let me go into wireframe. All right, so I'm going to hide this. I'm going to select all of this. Let me put up the subdivision surface so I can see this much better. So select that. Select this. Select that. Select this. All right, so there we go. So I'm going to hide that as well. Like that. And I think... Okay, I'm going to leave this one like that. So let's move up here as well. Over here, I think I'm going to hide uh, I don't know let me see the chrome material yeah so I want the chrome material to get all the way here so I'm gonna take this one and hide it just like that well let me let me let me undo that let me hide this one instead the one next to it let me hide that instead all right so with that then what I'm gonna do now is to take all of these that surface that is all the ones that I need and I'm going to assign the material to it. So let's get over here. I'm going to click on Assign, all right? Just like that. Now let's press Alternation to bring everything back. And now let's see if this actually works. So let's go down here with the uh, metallic black selected. Let's go down here. And on the viewport display, I want to change the color of the viewport. Let's change this to a full metallic first. And let's change it to black, all right? Just like that. And the roughness is just zero, like that. So yeah, that actually worked out quite nicely. And now I'm going to do the same thing for this material. Again, fully metallic. Roughness set to zero. Okay, maybe I should go with roughness of 0.5. Because that makes it too dark. Now let's get up here. In the modifier stop, let's enable the uh, shrink wrap modifier again. And there we go. So let's take a look at it in the material preview. And you can see what we have going on. That was what I was looking to achieve. Just like that don't worry about this side it's not going to be visible so it's not really necessary i just wanted to make sure the chrome material actually f flowed through the side on top of the tire just like that all right so you can see that is looking good that'll pretty much do it for this material i mean this object i'm just apply the rotation and scale just to be sure and now i'm going to go back to global view all right there we go so when i apply the materials to the rest of the uh objects that we have going on here so this uh what do you call it the wheel nuts we're going to add the material to it that is the metallic uh metallic uh black like that so i think we want to rename this metallic black actually because we have some roughness going on top of it okay so let me just say imp let me just type in imp for imperfect all right that is uh it has some imperfection on the surface so just imp metallic black imp just like that. All right, now I'm gonna take this one as well. We're gonna add two materials to this one because you can see they're all one object, like that. What is that? Okay, the brake pads. Okay, so let's take, I mean the brake disc. All right, so we're gonna add in two materials to this. So I'm just gonna add in the first one, which is the uh, metallic chrome, and then another one, which is gonna be the metallic black imperfect. So let me just go in here. Let me take this and then that. And I'm going to hide them like that. 
and I'm finally going to take this one, all right? So this imperfect is not actually going to work for this one quite well because this surface is really smooth. But we have an imperfection going on in this one. As you can see, it's showing in here. So in order to achieve this, what we're going to do is we're going to rename this. First of all, let's click on this sign here to copy it, okay? So it creates another copy of the um, the material so that when we make any changes to it, it won't affect the materials that is assigned to this one. So this is just a new copy we've created. The actual copy is still IMP, as you can see right there. But this one is IMP.001. It's a new copied form of that material. So now we can make changes to this without worrying about it affecting the other ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to get down here. And of course, I don't need any imperfection on this. I just want it to be smooth like that. And that's it. So let me just delete all of these. All of them. Just like that. And there we go. So that's pretty much it for the tire. There's one more thing we have to do is to duplicate the uh, the tires all around. Because as I said, we we were going to do that. So let me just go over into full screen by pressing Control and Spacebar. And I'm going to select this tire over here. Let me get to solid view, right? So before we actually do anything else, let's take this tire over here, right? So I'm going to hide that. And I'm going to take this, hide it, hide this, hide that, hide this, hide this, hide this, and hide that. All right, that's all of the tire material. Let me press Alt and H. I'm going to take this one here this one right here the time i'm going to press shift and s and choose keset to select it and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to reselect all of those materials that i hid okay so i'm just pressing ctrl z to undo the selection ctrl z and i'm going to apply all of the origin to that center of the keset that we have over there that's where we've placed the keset so all of the center is the same place as the tire all right so i'm just going to press space and type in set origin you can also find that in the objects tab up here so when I click on set origin, I'm going to say 3D Kesa, all right? So they're all having their origin on the 3D Kesa. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this one. Since the origin over here of this tire is the same origin as this tire over here, except, of course, we've moved this all the way to this side, we can just select this and press Shift and S and choose Kesa to select it. And I'm going to delete the rest of the tire, okay? So we just make sure we don't move the 3D Kesa again, because that is what's going to help us to place the tire accurately on this side. So like that. <coughs> Now I'm going to take this, hide it, take this, hide it, take this, hide it. So we're just going to hide all of those materials we're going to duplicate. All right. And I'm going to press alternate to bring them back. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to get to the side view. I'm going to press shift and D and then Y. All right. So with all of the origin at the center of the tire, all we're going to do is press space. Or let me just say shift and S. I want to choose, come on, shift and S. I want to choose selection to Keza. All right. So you can see it moves it all the way to that point exactly at the center for us without any issues just like that now all that we have to do now is to take this this pieces over here let me zoom in real quick one two three i think that's all of them yeah so with the kids are still in the middle with with the kids are still in the middle there what we're going to do is we're going to press r i want to rotate this 180 all right because of course usually the uh, brake calipers are on this side and on that side like that so that's what i'm trying to correct over there just like that i'm just save this over real quick and yeah so the next thing we're going to do now is to take this i'm going to delete let me press let me press shift and s and just get it to select it i'm going to delete all these just make sure you don't move the, the 3d kezzer because if you end up moving it you're going to have to do this all over again all right so there we go so all i'm going to do next is i'm going to take this and hide it. I'm going to hide that, hide this, hide this, hide this, hide that, hide that, and hide this. All right, so Alt and H, and I'm going to press Shift and D, and move this in the x-axis, all right? So I'm just going to press G, move it in the x-axis, and I'm going to rotate this in the z-axis, 180, like that. And let's see if we can rotate this in the x-axis by 180, all right, just to move the calipers to the other side. But actually, yeah, so that's it. I think that's right. So all that we're going to do now is to press Shift and S and choose Selection to Kezer. And there we go. That's it. All right, nice. So we only have one more. We're going to take this Shift and S, choose Kezer to select it. Let's delete every other thing else. Just make sure you don't end up deleting the, uh, the chassis as well. I mean the suspension. So let's hide this, hide that, hide this, hide that. Oh crap, I hit something. 
All right, let's start over. Hide this, hide that, hide this, hide that, hide this, hide this, hide this, and hide that. So alternate, press shift and D, move this in the X axis, rotate it in the Z axis by 180, like that. And of course, we're just gonna rotate this in the X axis by 180. I'm gonna press shift and S and choose Kezer, no selection to Kezer, like that. And that's it. That's pretty much it. So I'll pretty much do it for the tire. The next video, we're going to be creating the rest of the materials at once. And I'm going to end up uh, applying them to each and every part of the uh, car. And then we'll move on to rendering. So yeah, I'll pretty much do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.